So for those who have ever installed ortho tiles before, you will know that the tiles only cover a certain size. And when it comes to the tiles that cover Grand Bahama and Abaco, they only cover a certain distance above them. And I refuse to install a tile just for an island that's 3 feet by 10 feet. Do people actually live on this island? Because from the looks of things, people only fly here to do drug transactions. It also fascinates me that an island this small actually needs a whole runway. And I'm not even stressing anymore about these landing challenges because if I can land a whole 200 at Jack Keys, then this shouldn't be a problem either. Laps 40. Touchdown, reverses please and thank you. Well shoes, with all this runway left in front of me, I might as well just take off. So to add to the difficulty on takeoff, because that, that landing was too easy, to add to the difficulty, I will take off in a tailwind. And I think when I took off from Kiaki, I took off with flaps 20, either flaps 25 or flaps 15. I will take off with flaps 10 for this one. Rotate at 120 or whenever I'm about to die. I feel like that was unnecessarily close for comfort, but a win is a win. Oh wow, that's the type of foolishness only Russian pilots do. And just in case some of you assume that I had a tail strike, just need to make sure y'all have a clear view that it wasn't. I keep telling y'all, y'all are not gonna catch me slipping. So thanks again for the challenge, and if you know of a runway that's shorter in the Bahamas, please leave it in the comment suggestion, because I am not afraid to land this plane on a carrier, let me tell you.